Hello and welcome to another video of this Microsoft Power BI Do It Yourself Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about how to assign members to the roles. In the in the last video, we implemented security at a data level on the Power BI desktop. Now, uh, as discussed earlier, we are considering a situation where we need to restrict data based on the country, India, US, and UK, while CEO has access to all the data. And then um, we are using the Soother temp template, and you can download that template from this Google Drive location mentioned in the video description below. So we implemented data level security in the previous video, and then now we will publish the PBIX file onto the cloud service. So I'm going to go in here and uh, go to Home. There's a Publish button to publish I will save the desktop and then I'm going to publish this my in my workspace so it says you already have a data set named this in the Power BI do you want to replace the existing data set I would say replace and now it's publishing and once this is published onto the Power BI service we will go and look at how to assign members to the roles so it's published I'll say got it and then go back in here and then if you refresh this you would see that in the my workspace and by the way uh, for those who were watching the schedule refresh in couple of videos uh, you see that it says in the refresh history we scheduled it at 12.30 it, it ran completely successfully and then on demand now we published it so it's 2.38 p.m. today and we have published this uh, dashboard I'll say close so data is updated I'll go to my first dashboard and sorry reports Power BI soothing soother template dashboard and I would see that when you have this page one here that means it was published successfully now let's do the security piece in order to do the security click on this open menu and say settings and then you would see the the properties now click on data sets and then you would see the refresh history and everything and then we will talk about security on the data set here so please note that the security is given at the data set level so click on security and you would see that the roles are here now I can add members to the roles or so you can enter the email address I just have one email address for my company so I would say add and this is how you add a user and click on save I'm not gonna do it because I am having this user as an as an admin for UK also you can add the email address or the groups the AD groups who belong to this role and then uh, going back here you can test as role so if I click on test as role you would see that the role is India and then you can test it on the on the portal as well you can check how both of these roles look like so if a user has both the roles this is how it will look like and so again I repeat and you can you can say so in order to get to this role level security click on data sets and click on security here once you get on to this you can add email addresses or the groups AD groups driven by O365 to enable the security So again, as I've said, go to security settings from my workspace, data sets and security, and then see the roles you created in the Power BI desktop earlier, and then you can add email addresses of the security groups to provide appropriate access. And then you can test the security by clicking the three dots next to each role. Now, this is a good time for you to practice by some hands-on. So pause the video, understand what we have done, and then let's attempt the hands-on exercises 
So exercise number 36 and 37 talks about uh, you know, the, the security checking on the Power BI service and use the PBIX file you created in 34 and 35 hands-on exercises in the previous videos. Thank you for watching.